Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Today we will learn how to create heat maps in Excel. But before we begin, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Also, if you're an aspiring business analyst looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities in collaboration with leading experts, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in business analysis from Purdue University in collaboration with Amazon, Google, and Microsoft should be your right choice. For more details, use the link in the description box below. With that in mind, let's get started. We have started the Microsoft Excel. On my screen, you can see a small data set. The data set is about students and their marks in the six semesters, right? Now we should be creating a new heat map to describe their rankings. Now, to create a heat map, the procedure is really simple. Just control A, select the entire data, go to the home tab and there we can see the styles group. And in the styles group, click on the conditional formatting. Now out of all the options, go to the color scales. And when you open the color scales, you can see some types of maps. Select the green, yellow, red scale map, which should show green for highest, yellow for mediate and red for low, right? This is how you create a heat map. Just select the first option and there you go. The heat map has been successfully generated. The green colored cells indicate the highest marks. Orange and yellow color indicate the intermediate marks or the average marks and the red color indicates the lowest marks. That's how you create heat maps in Excel. We have reached the end of this session on how to create heat maps in Excel. But before we end the video, let's take a minute to hear it from our learners about their success story after graduating from the business analyst postgraduate program by Simply Learn from Purdue University in collaboration with Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. I have always been passionate about learning new things and improving my teaching skills. About five years ago, I realized that I have a gap in my knowledge and to fill the gap, I needed to upskill myself. I chose Simply Learn as my upskilling partner because of its comprehensive curriculum and its connection with Purdue University. Hi, my name is Carlos Linares. I live in Lexington, in the city of Kentucky, in the United States. I am an assistant professor at Midway University, and I hold a PhD in management, human resources, and leadership. I decided to opt for the post-graduation program in business analysis from Simply Learn, which has helped me a lot in my professional and personal life. I have been teaching even before I moved to the United States seven years ago. I tried to use Excel while teaching research classes, but since I only had the basic knowledge about it and other business intelligence students, it was very difficult for me at the beginning. But after completing this class and learning how to use tools like Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Power Query properly, I feel like uh, it has been a total game changer for me. Now I apply these skills everywhere, which has also helped me a lot in my yearly review. I submitted all my certificates to my university and based on that, my university plans to develop a class focused on business analysis starting in fall 2023. And I am really excited. When I finally decided to go for an online program, I researched a lot. And finally, I chose Simply Learn. And I must say, it has been a wonderful experience. If you see how the business world is changing now, and it's killing yourself, is quite essential to keep up with the change. Everything works on numbers now. Data is more valuable and important than ever. So, I encourage you to keep learning and keep growing. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on how to create heat maps. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources like PPT and dataset that we used in this session, please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe, keep learning and get ahead. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.